we have seen recently the left's allegiance to the First Amendment seems to apply only to, you know, leftist controversial text or actions. They feel differently about the text or material that uh, have its origins in the right. For example, the distribution of the plans for 3D printed guns. This story is so upside down. I mean, as for Feinstein, I have no idea. She hadn't given an opinion on the guns or the updated, you know, anarchist cookbook. Although she has, along with many of her colleagues, uh, been trying to curtail the Second Amendment, and many now in Congress are trying to stop the spread of 3D guns. Which, okay, sounds great, right? You can't, or you can't just go print a gun. At the heart of this whole ideological standoff is an important idea. Banning the plans to 3D printed guns. Is that what we should be doing? Because that's saying it's the First Amendment. You cannot, it, it's illegal for you to knowingly publish anything that shows you how to 3D print. Well, Democrats didn't ban the anarchist cookbook, which teaches you how to make ricin at home. We have a long history of First Amendment publishing rights. However crazy the subject matter is, you can publish it. Just like the Democrats have argued in defense of the anarchist, uh, the anarchist cookbook, this isn't about the Second Amendment. This is about the First Amendment. This is about free speech. There are two arguments. The first one is free speech. The ACLU has championed itself as the protector of banned books. You know, with these self-congratulatory things, they say, since its founding in 1920, the ACLU has opposed censorship in all of its forms, from books to television to film to radio and the Internet. We have consistently fought to make sure Americans have the right to say, think, and read or write whatever they want without a fear of government reprisal. Amen. Yet, the ACLU is shying away from standing up for First Amendment rights of people who want to release the blueprints for 3D printed guns. The whole ordeal started long ago, and if you've been with us for a long time, you know because you remember an interview in 2013 I did with Cody Wilson. He's a young man who calls himself a crypto anarchist. Wilson founded a company called Defense Distributed Online. It's an open source company that publishes the blueprints to 3D guns. This is uh, another dimension because a handgun is concealable. It's a different conversation than just making rifles. All handguns will eventually be available to people to produce for themselves and to do in the privacy of their own homes. Gun control can never die because it lives in the hearts of men. <laughs> No, gun control is not dead. It's undead. Gun control is undead. And uh, we just keep killing it, but uh, it just keeps coming back. Okay. The TV in the last couple of days is crazy. Media politicians are using this opportunity to spread all kinds of rhetoric. Yesterday, no, I'm sorry, this is in 2013. Chuck Schumer said this. I think that people who would oppose extending this law do so at their peril. This is so beyond the pale that I think that even the extremists will have trouble getting people to uh, take their point of view here, and I don't think they'll oppose it. Okay. In June, Defense Distributed, an online open source company that publishes blueprints, won a year-long case that had sought to keep um, Cody and his company from distributing information. Yesterday, a federal judge in Seattle temporarily halted this advancement. Watch. But to be clear, we were asking for a nationwide temporary restraining order, putting a halt to this outrageous decision by the federal government to allow these 3D downloadable guns to be available around our country and around the world. He granted that relief. That means that for any entity or individual to post that information online is illegal under federal law, just as it was before the federal government uh, made the unfortunate decision to allow it. So we go back to the status quo before the federal government made this decision. So someone can try to post it online, but it's illegal and one suffers the consequences of being in violation of a very serious federal law. Okay. So that's what happened yesterday. And then Mike Lee saw the legislation from Congress that wanted to shut it down, and he said this. Is there objection? Mr. President. Senator from Utah. Mr. President, reserving the right to object, I first saw this legislation literally moments ago. 
and therefore haven't had adequate time to review it. But I will say this, any legislation that comes forth from this body that begins with the following words will attract my attention and should attract the attention of anyone who's concerned about our First Amendment and other constitutional rights. It begins with the words, it shall be unlawful for any person to intentionally publish. That ought to be concerning to us, to each and every one of us, Democrats and Republicans alike. On that basis, I object. Fill the blank in. What could you possibly say after that? It will be unlawful for any citizen to knowingly publish fill in the blank. What? What? National secrets? Nope, you can do that. You can do that. Mainstream media has used the 3D printed gun issue strategically now as a weapon against Donald Trump. And coverage of the 3D printed gun I mean, it has been a scream. I mean, it's really like watching Grandpa explain, you know, Tupac to a teenager. Well, you, le, le, you, let me tell you, uh, you see, there's this man, Tupac, and he did the hippity hop. That's what it was like watching CNN. 